somebody would come <laughs> and give them Some more treats. People yeah. were really friendly. They were so yeah, nice. They so were lovely. Sweet. I thought it was nice. Yeah, yeah. it was really good. Hi everybody, coming back from Xiaoliocho, we went to Gongguan Fish Market. Fish Market. Which is located right next to the port. So it was perfectly located. And yet I've never heard anybody talking about adding it to their itinerary, except Alex. <laughs> and the yeah. million locals that loved it because yeah. it was round, wasn't it? It was absolutely full. Yeah. yeah. And Alex knew about it. He'd been there before and he was keen to go back, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. what do you say? I think it's probably... Oh, do you have a smile? The island as well is a Taiwanese holiday destination. We didn't see many Europeans there, did we? But the locals definitely knew about the fish market because it was there were queues around the block. For the what was it? Boiled eggs. Battered fish. They were all queuing for the egg fritter thing. For the one sticks. vendor. And Alex did get us a couple to try, not from the famous place because we don't like to queue that much. But I liked it. Um, it was okay. Yeah, my tea. Oh, I thought it smelled sweet. Really awesome. yes, it's all your face when Laura took the first bite of it and she was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it tasted like a fish meatball mm. and then suddenly there was like a white square. It's just an, an unusual texture when you're expecting fish. Mm. Yeah. Fish stick. Fried fish stick. Fried fish stick? <laughs> <laughs> it's a square thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's like a boiled egg inside. <laughs> 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 it's an unusual combination, yeah. but I thought it tasted good. Would we put fish and eggs together in the UK? Huh? Oh, gazy pie. Some people in the UK put eggs in their fish pie. I don't put eggs in my I fish pie. I don't put eggs in my fish pie. We have a tendency of letting Alex order sashimi. And again, sashimi is not common in the UK. No, not at all. I've never seen it on the Isle of Wight, where we're from, but maybe in the bigger cities, in certain restaurants, they might have it. Sort they of trendy. sushi, don't we? But that tends to be the rice. Yeah, you have to look for it. It's, it's not... just basically lumps of raw fish, isn't it? I think maybe some English people would be put off by eating raw meat. Because we don't understand the style of cuisine. But what did you guys think? I'm so impressed with your skill, Sam. I thought it was nice. Yeah, yeah. it's really good. It's interesting. I yeah. think you have to sort of like get used to the textures of it because it's not cooked. It's a different texture, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's quite soft. But it's actually really tasty. Yeah, it's different. Tuna belly. Tuna, Two different types of tuna. Yellowfin tuna, tuna belly, swordfish. Yeah. Salmon. And salmon, which was Norwegian. That was the only thing that wasn't Taiwanese. Yeah. Norway. Norway, yeah. Norwegian too. Salmon on one. Which one is? I <laughs> swam all the way from Norway. Mm. Oh, the wasabi. Oh, I like wasabi. This one is a uh, sword fish. Which one? This one. The first one. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Maybe sword fish. Sword fish. Can't hit the W. Did you have a bit of that salmon? No. 
You can't taste it because there's so much wasabi on my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's lovely. Oh, which one are you going to go for now? I just had another one of those and I think that's nice. I think this might be my last one. It's quite filling, quite isn't it? There's a lot of protein there. There's a lot of protein there. They all cook. We've got some sushi as well. Oh, pizza one, Daddy. Oh, pizza one, Daddy. Wow. With eggs. You tried the eel? Yeah. Mm. Let's taste it. I thought it tasted a bit like pilchard, like an oily fish. What did you think of the um, uh, uh, tuna? I thought it was really nice. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Liked it? Yeah, it was right. It's very soft. It was, it was almost like eating a, uh, a ripe vegetable. It was quite difficult to pick mm. up the chopsticks. <laughs> it like fall in half, but it was, yeah, it was tasty. The kids devoured everything very quickly, but they had their eyes on the dessert. Candy. Keep on giving them things. All they're doing is sitting there and everyone that walks past comes and gives them. Oh. Well, I'm sitting next to Finn in the car, so I reckon half of that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Every second, somebody would come and give them more treats. People were really friendly. They were so yeah, nice. They were lovely. Giving the kids stuff. Cute. Sweeties. Kids the candy. Wow, Sissy. Sissy. Oh, boy. You are so lucky. Taiwan. Taiwan. This is the first time I've Boys, you are so lucky! We got key rings. Oh, yeah! Well, hold your phone. It's a keychain. Oh, it's a keychain. And every person in the group got one, right? Yeah, it was really nice. So friendly. They were really friendly. I think Alex made friends for life. Alex. Oh, yes, he did. He yeah. was so sweet. <laughs> what was your feeling when we first entered and they asked if we wanted to have a sit down meal? Uh, they, were they were all fighting each other, weren't they, to try and oh, get us into keen, their yeah. store. They yeah. were all vendors wanted us in their restaurant. Didn't they? <laughs> I think that lady was really happy that we went to their place. It was a bit stressful for a second there. Yeah. Well, we didn't know what we were doing, did we? We were just wandering We through. just left poor Alex to do it. <laughs> we genuinely didn't know if we wanted to have a sit-down meal. We just wanted to look around, didn't we? Suddenly, Everyone. everybody was like putting menus in our faces mm. and <laughs> trying to convince us to choose yeah. them over the one next door, which is really awkward because... <laughs> Just wanted to have a little mosey. I think we chose the best place for us because you guys got to try what you wanted. The kids got to yeah. have what they wanted. Alex got to make a friend. We all got gifts. The people there were so happy, so mm. friendly. Yeah. And it's nice. Really nice yeah. And it was perfect. So if ever you're in Gongran, you've taken the boat over to Shaoli Ocho or you're waiting for the boat to go over there, I really recommend popping over to the fish market, grabbing something to eat. If there's no queue, it's not time consuming at all. And just enjoying the fresh fish there. Oh, yeah. great. Enjoy. Bye.